And welcome back to Fresco Guahan live on Greenlight 25. I'm Brandon Hernandez and this is my co-host, Miss Tanya De La Cruz. Now, back by popular demand, last show we had one of the best performances to date. We have Mr. Magic Ryan back on stage once again. And for those of you who missed it last week, you have a chance to get to know Ryan a little bit more. Ryan, buenas. Welcome to Fresco Guahan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, you want to get to know me more? I'm 5'4", uh, medium build. and uh, no. You're a Gemini? <laughs> Wrong. Oh, okay. Cancer. Cool. So, uh, Ryan, just a couple of quick questions. When did you start doing some magical performances? Um, I, I started doing magic when I was nine, performing a little after that uh, in middle school, high school, and then I just kept on going from there. And um, I believe you were Magician of the Year, is that correct? Well, in 1999, I was Hawaii's Champion Magician. Wow. Um, I performed at the Ilikai Hotel in Hawaii. And um, I, I went up against magicians from Japan, Hawaii, and mainland U.S., and then myself from Guam. If you want to, dis if you want to make anybody disappear, Tanya and I, we, we'll volunteer. The, the only thing is I, I don't know how to make the person come back yet, so. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, I hope everybody out there is ready because here at the studio, Fresco Guahan, we are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Magic Ryan. Thank you. Yes, I'm Magic Ryan. I'm going to do just a little bit of magic for you today. Um, I'm going to do a card trick. This is a really cool card trick. It's a, it's a card trick that I performed when I was in middle school. And I still have the middle school deck of cards. As you can see, it's all torn up right now. That's going to stay on my table. I won't open it yet. I'm not going to use that deck. We're going to use this. It's, um, it's, oh, there it is. Yeah, this one right here. It's an invisible deck of cards an invisible deck of cards. This is the real deck, and this is the invisible deck of cards. It's not just an invisible deck of cards, it's the all new and approved invisible deck of cards. It costs $19.95 plus $5.95 shipping and handling. And to one lucky person in this live studio audience, you get it for free. That's right, I said F-R-E-E -E free. <laughs> all right, I'm going to toss it out. When I toss it out, let's see who can catch this deck of cards. You caught it. Yeah, bring it up this way. Good catch. Yeah, bring it up. You, you put your hand up. Let's give her a round of applause as she comes up. <laughs> Welcome to the Fresco Guahan stage. What's your name? Cora. Cora, stand right over here for me. Cora. Um, oh, I think you need to be a little taller for this one. Uh, let me get you something to step on. Lift your left foot. Yeah, and step on that. And your right foot. And on that. Perfect, yeah. Good height. All right, now I just write to do this trick. Okay, I've got the invisible deck of cards. Oh, no, you have the invisible deck of cards. Okay, Cora, I need you to shuffle the cards. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you got to take the cards out of the card box first. Very important. Take the cards. I'll take the card box. Okay, good. And I'll put the card box right here on this table. I bet you didn't know that was there, right? All right, I want you to shuffle the cards. Just mix it up real good for this trick. Do like that? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. You, you got to watch, yeah, watch what you're doing. You, you drop one of the cards down there. Yeah, I'll get it for you. There you go. Keep them together. Okay. I'll take all the cards, Cora. Now, as you can see, every single card is a different card. Cora, take one card and show it to the audience. That's two cards. Put the other one back. <laughs> it's two cards. We only need one. Okay, good. Show everybody your card. Show all the cameras and the people in this audience. <laughs> take a look at the card. And what is the card that you're holding? Yeah, say it out loud. It's okay. Ace. Ace. Ace of? Hearts. Ace of hearts. Can you see the ace of hearts? Yeah. Yeah. No, you can't. It's invisible. <laughs> all right, we've got the ace of hearts right here, and I've got all these cards facing up. Each and every card's facing up. Now take the ace of hearts and place it face down. Yeah, turn it face down and put it in the middle of the deck. Okay, good. Now take all those cards and put it inside the card box. Okay, okay good. Now close the card box okay. and put that in your pocket. No, 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 your, your left pocket. Your left. Oh, yeah, that's your left. Sorry. <laughs> Scared her. <laughs> okay. All right, you got to keep that because it's F-R-E-E -E free. Oh, okay. All right. We used an invisible deck of cards. We could have used any card. She could have picked any card she wanted to, but she picked the Ace of Hearts. There's a real deck that's on my table, and I haven't opened it yet. 
But inside, there are 51 cards faced one way, and one card is facing the opposite way. If that one card is the ace of hearts, would you be impressed? Yeah. yeah. I'm working on it. I haven't done that trick yet. But <laughs> no, I am going to do that trick tonight. Watch. My hands are empty. And the real deck has every single card facing up. Every single card faces up in this deck. You pick the ace of hearts. You could have picked any card you wanted to. And only one card is facing down in this deck. Take that one card, Cora, and show it to the audience. The ace. Good job. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, you can step off of that now. Thank you. Let's give her a round of applause one last time. Okay, I've got a brand new card trick. A totally new card trick. It's so new that it's still inside the plastic. Yeah. So it's a brand new card trick. And I need someone to help me out. So raise your hand if you'd like to help out. If you don't raise your hand, I'm going to come and get you. If you don't raise your hand, I'm going to come and get you. You can look away. How about you right over here by yourself? Come up this way. Give her a round of applause. Hi, what's your name? Kellen. Kellen. Okay, stand right over here for me. You don't have to stand on the stool. Okay, <laughs> this is a real deck of cards, a brand new real deck of cards. I want you to take that and open it up. As she opens the card box, I want to explain to you what's going to happen. I'm going to do a magic trick, <laughs> a brand new magic trick. You might not have seen this before. We're going to use a totally new deck of cards. There's no way that I could have rigged this. I'll take the plastic. You can keep opening that. Go ahead. <laughs> now you see that I haven't touched the deck of cards yet. We're going to take out the jokers and the, uh, the two other cards that don't belong. Let's just rip it, it's okay. Everybody's watching. <laughs> it's okay. Now when she opens this deck of cards, I'll take the card box. Okay, here, yeah, let's just take off the top. They're new. Go ahead and take off, uh, take out the jokers and take out the other two cards that don't belong. And we'll just take this out because we don't need this. Okay. Now I'll throw that away. Unless you want to keep it. <laughs> now what you're going to do is uh, go through them. Just show that they're really a, a new deck of cards. So you've got the spades, the diamonds, the clubs, and the hearts. The real deck of cards new. Um, cut the deck in half and give me half of the cards. It doesn't matter which half, the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter. OK. Now, spread the cards out like this and find one of your favorite cards out of that deck. Just go ahead and spread them out like this. OK. And find one of your favorite cards. When you do, I want you to show everybody out here your card. In fact, I'll turn this way to make sure that you don't see or so that I don't see that card. Go ahead and take that one card, show it to the audience, make sure everybody gets a chance to see it. The people in the front of you, the people on your left in front, Right? And you look at the card as well. When you're done looking at the card, make it face down so I don't see it. Tell me to turn around. OK, keep it out and away from the other cards. And put it in my hand, facing down. Oh, mine? Yeah, just that one. <laughs> All right, is that the card? Okay. I'm going to take the card and place that in the middle of the deck. All the cards are going to go inside the card box that was torn up earlier. <laughs> Now hold this up like this. I'll take these from you. Now it's, hold it good. It's very important that you hold it because if you let it fall, it's your fault. Hold it good. You got it? Okay, good. Don't let it fall. Do you know what a purple purple is? You don't know what a purple purple is? Well, good. Neither do I. I just made the name up. A purple purple lives inside everybody's right elbow. Every human being on the planet of Earth has a purple purple in their elbow. And believe it or not, I'm going to wake this purple purple up. Now, it, you can't see it, but it can see you. So this purple purple, when I wake it up, it's going to crawl up through the top. You're going to feel something right in here. Okay? Now tell me if you feel anything inside your arm. Do you feel anything in your arm? No. Sometimes they don't feel it at this time, but it really is inside your elbow. It's guaranteed that every person on the human planet has a purple purple in their elbow. Now, just, you're going to start to feel that crawling up through your arm. If you feel that through your wrist, just tell me when you feel it in your wrist. Do you feel it in your wrist? No. Not yet? Okay, you're going to feel that. It's going to crawl up. As it crawls up, 
It's going to go through your fingertips, okay? And as it crawls through your fingertips, just let it go through your fingers. It's going to go right through your fingers slowly, sometimes really quickly, and it might even jump, okay? Don't squeeze it as it comes up to the top. Take a look at the top of the card box. Take a look at the top of the card box. You're going to start to feel this right over here. You can see there's nothing on top, nothing in front, nothing in the back, nothing under, just the kundalini. Let it go right through your fingers. Don't squeeze them. Let it go up right there, okay? Hold it up higher. There you go, right there. Now, do you feel that going through your fingers? No. Some people don't feel it at all. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Now it's going to crawl up. Just let it go through your fingers. Don't squeeze it. Let it go. There you go. All the way up through the top. What was the card that you picked? King of Hearts. Take that one card out. Show everybody, is that your King of Hearts? Yes, it is. Good job. Thank you very much. All right, let's give her a round of applause one more time. All right, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that magic trick, those magic tricks. Again, I'm Magic Ryan. I just uh, want to say thank you very much, and uh, Merry Christmas to everybody, all the families out there in Guam. And uh, I'm Ryan Anderson, Magic Ryan. Good night. Wow. Good job, Magic Ryan. Once again, Magic Ryan and his amazing tricks. Let's give it up for Magic Ryan. Woo! I have one question, though. Yeah. Can you please make Brandon disappear? <laughs> I've been trying to do that for a long time. The guy just won't go away. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Keep trying. I'm, I'm serious. Keep trying. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Brandon. Coming up next, we have Island Kai's after a quick break. Don't touch that dial. <laughs> 